Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, tweakers. Good afternoon, good evening, good morning, good day. I say all that because this is a recap video for GAC Season 16, Week 3, Round 1, 5 5 And my music sounds real, real low. Turn that up a bit. All right. So I recorded this one um, on my phone, and then we're going to recap the video. And that's because I got really busy at work and couldn't make it home in time to uh, stream on Twitch. Oh well. It happens. Let's go look at our opponent tonight. We got the Lambda Beller. Beller, 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 Lambda, Lambda, Beller, Lambda. Alright, and he is from Prepared. Uh, I'm not really sure how prepared he actually was for this. <coughs> anyway, he is in Chromium. Um, as you can see here, though, I've got almost... Well, not really almost, but almost, we'll say it, because I'm the one saying it. Almost double his lifetime banners. Um, the guy doesn't undermand nothing. His offense wins suck. His defense suck. His clears suck. I call it like I see it. Uh, if we look down, um, I obviously got him beat quite significantly on mods. Uh, the, my top 80 characters are on average, or have on average, an extra 11 more speed than he does. If we look at the mods, yeah, um, got him on mods. But he's got all four GLs. And he's got Ray at Relicate. He's got Kylo at Relicate. He's got Ultimate C. He's got Ultimate JML. He's got all the weapons. And, you know, his speeds aren't that bad either. You know, 549 is okay. 524 is good. 515 is on C is arguably slow. Um, 504 on SLKR is definitively slow. Um, but his gas looks good. Starth Revan is way too slow but whatever look at his malik his malik is 307 so he's running the fast malik so that's that's cool that's that's okay there and then the supporting cast ooh vader 226 speed buddy booby schnookums oh and a gear 12 nest so tail the tape says i've got him beat Now, let's get into it. Lambda Baylor. Lambda Baylor. So, what did I do on defense? Let's look up top. I got... I switched up a little bit. Because... I noticed he always puts gas on defense. So, I wanted to use C on gas. And because I was pulling gas... Uh, I want he put a good Ray team, and I wanted to use Ray on my JML team, so I pulled Gas off and put Shock T down with clones. Still a good team. Um, this is my top zone, um, and the way that I saw that he always plays his defense is if he likes to put uh, EP Vader Watt on defense, and the way I planned out my offense is I I'm going to use my JML on his Ray, and then I planned on using my C on his Gas. And then I brought in CLS to take out his uh, Vader Watt. That's just what I figured I could use. So down south, I put both my GLs down south. I stuck with that DR comp um, just because it's it's scurry. It's it's, it's kind of scurry. And in the back, as you see here, I just got Mon Mothma and GG. Mon Mothma because I don't think I think he was gonna s struggle. And you see there, I got Negotiator back down on defense. And I got, um, I put my Empire back on there because I wanted to save Houndstooth because I know that he always set, uh, it's funny because he always set Malevolence. I don't know why I figured I needed Houndstooth. But stupid. Anywho, so here's his bottom. Look at that. Crappy Geos, scrub Geos on bottom. 
Uh, Django on bottom note that there is no Zetas on Grief or Mando. Um, and they were really slow, so I'm not convinced that was a good idea. And then he's got a Night Sisters on defense. I don't know why people do that if they don't have to. There's the Ray Comp. Now, that is the a different Ray Comp that he usually set. He usually set Ray with the Heroes JTR and um, Haldo. So, like, the good comp, right? Which is why I pulled gas over. So, let's do these bugs first. Uh, we're going to use uh, Vader on the bugs. Uh, because it is an R7 GBA. Not that that really matters. Vader handles the bugs quite handily, though. Don't need Thrawn. Nope. 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 I figured... Just to save Thrawn, just in case he threw me a curveball and put his Padme in the back door. Because you know how Treya, Thrawn, works really well against uh, Padme. But <laughs> it's funny because uh, uh, my Sith Trooper is on defense, so that might not have worked much anyway. Anyways, you've seen this a million times. It's really, really easy. Weapon tech over to Vader. Vader goes into Merciless, and that's game over. Um, short Trooper's there just to take a couple hits and uh, get his, you know, he'll get protection back because he's got the tank tech. Um, bye bye Poggle. Um, Spy is almost dead. Soldier just goes bye bye because he was a gear 12 soldier. Put some more dots down. Get rid of that R7 GBA. Uh, and now we got to chew through this uh, R7 uh, brute, which didn't take too much. But you see, Shore just got his banner back. He had lost that tick. And now we got to see if we can finish this off with keeping all those banners. Oh, he hit me again, but that might not count. That, oh, no, there we go. We got it back. Okay, so all is good in the world of the Vader. And we're done. 61 banners, first match. Very, very clean as it always is. Um, yeah, I, I don't... I don't advocate putting Geos down on defense anymore. There's just too much stuff with all the teams we have now. Don't do it, guys. Hold your Geos for offense. You can use them to clean up uh, Kylos. You can use them to clean up Rays. They're a good cleanup team. They can kill some stuff. Uh, so now let's we're checking the speeds on this guy. Look at his mods. He's got a defense mod and a health mod. So he's just kind of scavenging together mods. Don't want to fault him for not being ahead on mods, you know, mods is, unfortunately, 75% of this game, because you can spend money and grind up the tunes, but mods is just luck of the draw. You know, you do gotta grind them. Ooh, 271 grief. But that's a 301 under Django. So we're gonna use my own bounty hunters, because they're awesome. And I like to use them in every GAC where I can. Um, I'm going to be faster than you. So I'll, I did this last time. I went after Boba first just because he's squishy. And we can pretty much just delete Boba before he even goes and puts down that nasty ability block, which I just did to them. So now, in my opinion, Django is the biggest threat. Kill him with Django so that he does not return. Because if you kill a character with Django, if your Django has that second Zeta, he's not coming back. Unfortunately, Grief messed up my banners. He cleansed my boss. And now, this does give me some protection, but this isn't a boss lead. It's a lot harder to gain your banners back. So right now, I'm down three. I'm down a banner on Mando, down a banner on uh, Boba, and I do believe it's going to count that I'm missing a banner on Bosk. It's pretty damn close, but uh, we just... I was kind of just hoping I could get back around to Grief. I can right there. So I tried to get the banners back. But look, on Mando, just wasn't enough. It was just... just wasn't enough. So there we go. I'm gonna... looks like I'm gonna be down three banners. And I am. 57. 57 banners. But... Django didn't get a turn. Boba didn't get a turn. Again, I, I don't like that as a defense team either. That whole zone was, in my opinion, trash. Now, check this out. Is that a screw-up? He put Piet lead with no Zetas. 
Um, yeah, um, I think this is the right word for this. And yes, there we go. <laughs> and he sucks. I'm sorry, dude. I'm sure you're a lovely individual, but if you're going to put troopers down on defense, and look at Stark doesn't have a Zeta. No, 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 buddy. Uh-uh. No, 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 no. But there is the gas. So, I was saving, what, CLS and C. What I probably should have done, which I don't do. Spoiler. I probably should have used CLS on his gas. Um, and then C'd his troopers. I actually, seeing as this, what comp was on defense for Ray, I could have C'd... Oh, no, no, I couldn't see his, his, his ray because I already used the watch with Vader. Don't, don't, don't try to be uh, s uh, using uh, C watch against... Uh, and it, see, I had no JTR, so it's also would have been seeable had I saved um, what. But let's use troopers, which are slowly becoming one of the best teams in the game against this full relic Night Sister team. Uh, I used Deathmark here, but apparently... She will still revive from zombie even with Deathmark. So there we go. Look at the field is like just getting laid waste. Uh, they haven't gone once yet. Not once. Spirit's dead. Oh, Duck is dead. And now Talzin's dead. And they didn't take a single turn. The troopers are marching, ladies and gentlemen. 60 banners. Um, the troopers are awesome. Troopers are absolutely awesome. Uh, don't put your nice sisters on defense. Especially... Since I didn't, I didn't look at it on the video, but I did scout the Asajj beforehand, and the Asajj was like 202 speed, or somewhere around that. When I did the calculations, it turned out that she was, uh, it's not over there, 303, 303 speed. So easily, easily, easily trooperable. So there we go. We got uh, what? We got a bunch of. We were racking up some 60s. So now we got GG. Uh, it's a good GG team. It's got Droidica, and if you remember, do I go for the GG first? Well, just one sec. Yes, I do. Okay. Remember when I failed with Bam against GG? Remember? Remember I cried? It was it was it was so sad. It was it was very very saddening. Uh, slow B1, and look at his B2. His mod is straight for protection, so his tenacity is only seventy percent, and his potency is only sixty percent. Uh, pro tip, that's not how you mod B2. That is not how you mod B2. So keep that in mind That as a caveat to this battle. Or an, an asterisk or whatever you want to call it. Caveat, I like caveat. Anyways, so if you remember that last time when Bam failed me miserably. You know, the sad day that we will, will not talk about after the stream. I remodded my nest to be one speed faster than my IG-11 with the intent of dazing and pushing back turn meter on this move right here. Because this is where it all went bad. And that is a fast ass droidica. Look at that. It's got full turn meter already. So I modded my nest to go third in the hopes of applying daze. So that if B2 did go and did put down debuffs. They're not getting turn meter from it. That's one plus about Nest going third. The second one is if you do land a daze on B2, he's stuck. And then he won't go at all. So I know the graphic from the scoundrel server. Good guys. <clears throat> Said you wanted uh, IG-11 to go third to get the tenacity down out there. But I think that that is probably not correct look at that three days is push the turn meter back on almost all of them and now we can just go to town right there haven't had it hit yet look at this target gg he's under stealth don't matter he dead this is how the bam team rolls ladies and gentlemen so now unfortunately uh, i want to get to droidica but droidica is under stealth um this will hit b1 he will double tap with his basic, and he will hit B1 since B1's the, the least healthy um, person on the field. Now, no worries, because I got Nest 
Uh, and Ness is just going to strip off that uh, nasty stuff off of uh, Droidica right here. Bye bye. So sorry. So now we're going to basic again. We're going to start working away on. Uh, oh, we clutch stun. Now you know. Look at like so they have. They are taking banners. You see that? Everyone's missing a banner except for IG11 and I do believe uh, Nest. So missing a banner, missing a banner, missing a banner. Let's get those back, right? So I want to get freaking Droidica out of here. Look at that. It took a hit to the face. So there's some banners. Look at that. We got a ban. We got all our banners back except for Bam because he took that big hit to the face from uh, Droidica. Um, yeah, we. I'm not worried too much now. I'm, you know, and now I gotta get banners back again. There we go. But here's where we do it. So we use uh, the crit or the immunity on Kara to get that banner back on Kara. And I got banners back on everybody. And we're good to go. So now, Droidica stunned. Let's shift our focus back over to B2. Kill him. Kill DDK. 60 banner win, ladies and gentlemen. That is how that team rolls. That's how it should be. So, uh, make your nest third fastest, is my recommendation. Oh, I just noticed there is no Zeta on Haldo. This guy's lacking some Zetas, yet he has it on veteran Chewbacca. You know what? I can't say nothing because I got one on my veteran Chewbacca too. All right. What am I thinking about? So let's go down and let's uh, let's do let's make some poor decisions. All right, so we're gonna get we're gonna check out the speed. Check this out. That's a 266 Rex. You don't see him that slow very often. And then well, who else am I checking? Nobody. Okay, we're gonna use C. So this is the team I, I thought of using. I thought that. Uh, I'd bring in Moff Gideon just to, because he's 331-ish, so he's 371 under C. So my thought was, control the turn meter, put the debuffs down, I can go to town. Now, I've done this in the past, and um, I haven't redone looked at the kits. So normally, when I link gas, and this is the first time I've been reviewing this footage, if you link gas and you link someone else, gas loses protection and stays kneeling until it's done. So, um, maybe I did something wrong, but I linked gas, and then I linked fives. Okay. Now we're going to pull the return meters back. They're still linked right now. I don't know if something changed. So you got to go for gas, so go all in on gas. Right? Good, good. So, there you go. His protection's gone. He's going to sit down. Now, what changed? Because before, unless something about, unless something they changed something, because before, gas would stay linked and he would just stay kneeling. But I, I must be missing something. I must be missing something. Unless you link him when he's kneeling, I, I don't think you can do that. But going forward. I guess there's nothing you can do because you have to link gas. But yeah, the link went away. So now I'm like, uh-oh. Uh-oh, how am I going to get some ultimate meter back? This one's going to be rough. So let's isolate Rex just so that he's not speeding everyone up and he doesn't uh, cleanse the debuffs. At least I brought in Nihilus uh, so that I can put reduce or increase some cooldowns. So now we got to work on fives. Um, but his fives is beefy. It is, so it takes me a bit to get around. Now, gas is back up already, unfortunately. There goes my Moff Gideon, so now they're not demoralized. Um, and I was actually kind of worried at this point. Because, um, like, supposedly gas can... S or uh, C can solo gas. So we knocked him back on his butt again. I don't want Scion to die. So, you know, held by hatred, cool. Um... Still got to work on fives. Like, you know, fives has got almost all of his. So now let's link some people. Fives almost has all his health. So let's do fives and let's do. I think I go arc. 
No, I go Rex. I probably would have, should have done Arc. So there we go. Fives is the dead, but now my Scion is the dead, unfortunately. And now I don't got Link again. So, yeah. So we're struggling. We're struggling here. This was a messy, messy, messy fight, which is why once I saw that he did not have Vader and Watt down, I should have used my CLS on this, because CLS choose through this team. But no, we'll do this the hard way for crappy banners. Uh, who do I want to kill? Uh, I'm trying to save it for gas. All right, so we're going to linky you, and then we're going to linky linky you uh, right now. I'm still not at ultimate, which is a travesty. They're going after C, which is excellent. So we're just going to counterattack back. Uh, he must not have a lot of protection on his gas because his protection is going down really quick. So it's probably still modded for offense. And now, bye 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 All three of you for crappy banners, 49. Not quite the Scarlet 47, but not great either. All right, so now we got Troopers and we got Ray. So, um, yeah, Moda for Speed, not that fast though, 272. Yeah, so I was just checking his, his leadership since it's been a while since I read it. But yeah, I'm going to have to be 15 less speed because of uh, Piet. Great. Thanks, bud. Thanks, bud. So let's, uh, let's kill this team first. You notice he does have our seven... Uh, heroes so kudos to him for that one um, they do deal out a lot of damage but against this team and this is like my arena team there's no chance mm -mm. there's 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 no chance I'm, I apologize but you're not gonna make it even though you got an R8 Ray it's not gonna help you nope 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 So, oh, we're going back down to Piet. All right. So, let's just get rid of Stark so he's not speeding anybody up. And you're dead. Yep, fully reliced uh, Piet lead. Which is just silly. Oh, yeah, yeah, you're, do oh, go you're gone. Oh, oh, we're at full, full health and full protection. And you're going to give me a 60. Thanks, bud. Thanks, bud. Yeah. Sorry. I'm sure you're a fine fellow, but that was dumb. That was dumb. That was. It was. It was really dumb. I. I'm, you could. I know your speeds weren't that great, but I did have them. Um, you know, I have my Mothman in the back. That's a sixty. Although you don't have a Zeta on Piet, so you don't have a Zeta on Stark either. So, you know, you know that Zeta you put on Veteran Chewy? Put on one of them. So, kind of just go on all for Ray, right? So, just go for Ray first, just like the uh, the Luke Nukem team. If you have, if you have Cam, you can do this quite easily without. Uh, Revan, Hoda, or Jedi Knight Luke. Uh, but sadly, I need two more TBs till I get my cam. I really want them because I'd love to be able to make a Jedi Master Luke Jedi team and a Jedi Knight Revan SLKR team. But I can't. So, you see, I have... I'm, I, sh I used Hoda's big heal first, and I probably shouldn't have. I should have waited till after the ultimate. Uh, I realized that probably right around now. Um, but as you see, I'm I'm at my ultimate too, so I gained my ultimate in the same amount of time that she gained hers. So I am going to stun them all because why not? And you see, I took the hit pretty well, and ooh, I apologize to the children in the room. 
Um, you might be too young to know what a snuff film is yet. Don't Google it. Don't Google it. Uh, no, don't, no, no, no. But that's what you just witnessed. You came for Star Wars. And you got a snuff film. I apologize to the parents. Let's see what he got for ships. He's got exactly the same ships he always says. Empire and whoa, 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 whoa. Uh, if my uh, if this was on Twitch and my and my buddy Tassinix was in the chat, he would be like, "That Empire fleet is dumb. Don't put the Emperor's shuttle." Oh, don't put the Emperor's shuttle in your starting lineup. There is my other scene. There you go. You rule! No, 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 you don't rule! Sorry, bud. Uh, guys, if you... Don't do that. Um, he's got to be a reinforcement. You don't want him on the starting lineup, and we're going to show you why. So my... Uh, and look at his... And look at his uh, Mallow team, too. I don't think that was the smartest decision, either. But... Well, so... You know, I said I didn't put Holdo on defense because for some reason I wanted my uh, my Houndstooth. I don't know why. Um, that was dumb. So that, that's a place where I'm dumb. i been saying that word way too much. It's starting to lose meaning. But watch how easily this goes. Watch this. Watch this. This is a thing of beauty. So I'm going to cleanse, get the target lock off, even though you can't because Vader did it. But whatever. Gives me a stack of overcharge. So there we go. We got buzzies. Right? And we got more buzzies. And now watch this. Where'd the bomber go? So what does the shuttle do? It makes Vader taunt. Bye, Vader. You can blame the Emperor for that one. So, yeah. Um, didn't even need a single reinforcement. Yep. Um... Only 63. It should have been like a 66. I could have left three guys at home. Um, I know Synergy way back in the day told me only bring in Spy. And he's right. Um, but you are running a risk that something goes wrong. So, um, I didn't really know what to take in against a Malevolence with bugs in the starting lineup. So... I just kind of was like, screw it. I'm going to try Rebels. Because as you see, look at my Akbar. All right, wait. Oh, you can't see my Akbar. Oh, oh, oh. Go like this. Quick, quick, quick. Switch, switch. Look at He's relic Oh, Let's go back. There you go. Look at I got him up to Relic for this week. So I got a full Relic M or Rebel Fleet. Finally. Finally. My Bistan is good. My SRP is good. I think my best stand is 155. So, but I didn't know how this was going to go. So, there's Sunfac. I figure I'm just going to try to burn down Sunfac. Uh, it's going well right now, but, uh, yeah, that stun sucks. Because the reason why I like the Y-Wing up front is just he just keeps regenerating. Like, if he would have been, would not have been stunned. And this is probably a fault of mine, too. I figured that this would kill Sunfac. Oh, it did. But I did not kill Spy. And now, because of it, I lost my Y-Wing. So there goes Spy. I think that was Spy. Maybe it was Soldier. So, I caught... You know what? Stop. Full stop. In hindsight, the move there would have been call Cassian and kill whatever that one is, Spy or Soldier. And then the battle would be over. But instead... I went the chicken route, cluck cluck, cluck cluck, and uh, I didn't. I called in a tank, and he's not even taunting. So, oh, here comes the hyena. Yeah. So there goes your taunt at least. But, and the reason why casting would have also been nice is he has a dispel in his kit. I could have. Oh, well, there we go. Budsies are gone anyway. So I should have healed Bistan here. But I figured let's cleanse that uh, Buzzy off of Biggs. That was that was dumb. Like I played this this fight all wrong, and I just paid the price for it. Old Bistan, who I was just uh, saying how I just got to relic, paid the ultimate price. 
And now it's three on two. <coughs> so we gotta bring in the Phantom. Oh, no, I don't even do that. I bring in, now I bring in Cassian. And I should have went after the Geonosian too, but instead I'm going after Hyena. Like I'm, I played this one all wrong, guys, all wrong. Oh, that is Soldier. Okay, never mind, Soldier. I've been saying Spy this whole time. But now at least we got one ship to kill and then it's over, right? One ship to kill, and this is going to do it. So it worked. But I played it all wrong for 57 banners. Right? And um, I did this this morning, so you should have had about six hours on the clock. Let's see. Yep, five and a half hours. Okay? Five and a half hours to get it done. Now, let's... Go to Bluestacks, go to my game, and let's see how he did. Ooh, look at that. Nothing has changed. Um, he didn't show. He no-showed. Which is fine. He's probably a busy dude. You know, that's why he probably just... He's not a really... He doesn't care about GACs. He just puts down something, and... Sometimes he attacks, sometimes he doesn't. When I looked at his history... There was only one match where he didn't fight. Actually, no, that's not true. His opponent didn't fight, and he did one battle to get the win. One, ba one battle, and then walked away. So that right there kind of tells you everything that you need to know about this guy. Lambda Beller. Lambda Beller. From Prepared. Uh, which is kind of ironic. Anyways, ladies and gentlemen... That one, oh, wrong screen. I wanted you to see my face, even though I still don't have a haircut. That one was a gimme. Um, I apologize that I couldn't uh, stream that on Twitch last night. Uh, but things happen. Um, but that one was uh, uh, Annihilation. I think I burned through him uh, in 22 minutes. And that was taking my time. I like the gimmies, but that last match at the end of, of week two was, uh, that was really fun. Uh, and um, we're going to have ourselves a match uh, next. Uh, Amberoth. I faced him before. I don't know if I beat him or not. So, that's my next opponent, Amberoth. Let's take a quick cursory glance at what he's running. I haven't pulled the Prime Bot on him yet. Um, so that's what he runs in Arena. Um, I run my... I have the same lineup as my Sith Eternal, but I run actually Vader instead of Scion. I, you don't need three tanks, but whatever works for him, man. If it works for you, it works for you. Clans, Mandalorians. Um, let's, let's check him out. 7.4, so I would win if we tied. Uh, where's his R8s? So he's got an R8 Kenobi. And that's it. Yep. Ooh, but he's got Kiati Mundi. Really? <clears throat> Clans Mandalorian is getting wicked Kiati Mundi shards. Well, that just makes me look silly. Now, doesn't it? He is a good, good character, guys. He is, he is. Uh, yeah, one relic eight, and that is GK. So I'm not too scared about that. Um, Amberoth. Let's, um, since I got you all here, you guys can take off if you want. Uh, please leave a like before you go, though. Um, oh, let's go take a quick peekaboo at his GAC. Amberoth. Star Wars Galaxy of Heroes. Can't spell dot GG. Okay. Is this you? Is this you? Clans Mandalorian. Yes, it is. Okay. So, yes. He gets first in arena all the time. So, let's look at his... Ooh. He only won two out of three there. Up against the Kobe Beef. Let's take a quick look at his, his banners. Uh, Kobe didn't clear him either, so that's not good. I think this guy's going to be a defensive player. So what do you got? SLKR. I'm not scared of that. 
JTR with the heroes. Excellent. That means the heroes aren't with Ray. Ooh, look at that. Uh, I can see what that. Uh, yeah, and that guy just Vadered it too. I'm surprised. I didn't know Vader worked against IG and Quill. But uh, we've used uh, C Watt against that in the past. Um, we'll have to take a look at his ray after to make sure it isn't offense modded. Oh, a DR. Okay. So we need to look at his ray and his DR and Bastila to see if I can use bounty hunters against that. GG Newt, that's no problem. Are you gonna use BAM? Yeah, <laughs> that's trooper food. That is trooper food. And wait, wait, just one, just one. Oh no, two. Ray and SLKR. Okay, so we'll see that, and we'll JML that. Yeah, uh, I don't think that's gonna be too bad. What does he got for ships? He's got Empire, and it looks like he actually runs Gauntlet up front. Okay, that might be a little bit trickier because Gauntlet can cleanse the Buzz Droids. Uh, but it looks like he still beat it with Malevolence anyway. And then, uh, okay, it looks like uh, he likes to run Y-Wing too. That's good. So we'll use, uh, so we'll probably use the same thing. What did he fail against DR with? Oh, DR. He must have a lightning fast DR. All right, really quick look. Let's see if the defenses were the same. Uh, yes, 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 yes. And... Defense. Yes, yes. Oh, he's got C down. Okay, he switches it up. But look at his look at what he's got for C. That can be troopered. That's okay. Same sh same ships. Oh, and he's got malevolence down. So he switches up his ships a little bit. Let's go back a week. Oh, he lost two there, too. Buddy. Oh, yeah, he switches it up. Look, at he's got CLS on defense. Still got DR, still got GG. He's got Night Sisters. No, 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 don't do that. He's got Negotiator. He's got C, yeah. All right. Good, we got a guy that likes to switch up his defense. Okay. All right, ladies and gentlemen, let's just wrap it up there. We'll save that for the GAC tomorrow night on Twitch, barring working late. All right, ladies and gentlemen, have a good one. Till next time. Cheers.